I want to share with you today a real quick segment on reading data from a uh, text file into a Bash shell script. Now, what I'm going to discuss today is going to uh, apply directly to your semester project in this Linux admin class, but the technique really uh, could be used anytime you need to read uh, flat file data into a script. So for starters, I have created a uh, flat file, and it is the file that you'll need to read uh, as input to this uh, fire dispatching application. It is the exact data that you'll find in your project specification. It's not um, real sensitive as to the number of uh, white spaces that are between the data items, but um, you can cut and paste from the project file or, or type in the data from scratch in your uh, Linux operating system. Uh, as the project explains, the first line contains a number, and that number then indicates the next number of lines that contain uh, data points for the location of uh, dispatch planes. And then the final line is the location of the fire. And these are GPS points, latitude, longitude, um, as explained in the project. We're not going to get into the logic or algorithm for this piece of the project today. We're just going to see how can I read this data into a bash script. So I have a little script called uh, dispatch.sh. You can see from the green coloration that I have already given that uh, execute permission. Let's look what I have in that script. Of course, we start with the shebang, bin bash. I create a variable named file equal to the full path specification to my data file. So I have put my data file in my uh, user accounts uh, personal bin directory. I then create a counter for mostly for future use, but a counter named I, set that to zero. And then the whole core of the uh, data input is this while loop. So while I'm going to read a line. And line is a variable. So line is where the data is going to uh, end up. IFS, as you might remember, stands for input field separator. And I'm setting that to just white space, so null. Okay. Um, so while you get a line, or while a line is available. So basically, we're going to read until we run out of lines to read. So we're going to do increment i. So that's a, in bash. Remember, it's a little cumbersome to do uh, arithmetic. But if we use this double paren construct, we can just add 1 to i. This is the one case, remember where when we reference a variable, uh, we don't have the dollar sign in front of the I. Instead, the dollar sign's out here outside of these double parens. So I equals dollar paren paren. There has to be white space here. Uh, I plus one paren paren. And then I'm just going to echo 
this is just uh, sort of a, a debugging or testing uh, use of the echo. I'm going to say line counter equals that data I just read, read in. Okay. So just to prove to myself that I was able to fetch that data from that flat file, and now it's inside of my bash script, and then done. Now, this little less than sign is saying in this whole while loop, get that redirection from this location, so from dollar file. Let's run it, and we'll see how it works. And there we go. The data is now inside my program and available for use. This should be the beginning core of what you need to get going. Good luck.